Welcome back to ShopProp. In this video, we'll discuss the next step in the process, being in escrow, clearing contingencies, and managing the escrow offer. Our team is dedicated to ensuring a seamless experience, providing support and guidance throughout this critical stage. Let's dive into the escrow and contingency process. After accepting an offer, we will open escrow and request that the buyer deposit earnest money. This deposit demonstrates the buyer's commitment to the transaction and provides a financial assurance to the seller. Depending on the accepted offer, we may have various contingencies to clear. These can include disclosures, septic inspections, if applicable, inspection contingencies, appraisal contingencies, and finance contingencies. Each contingency has different timelines, and the process of clearing them varies depending on your location and state regulations. The inspection contingency allows the buyer to inspect the property and provide a response. They have several options, cancel the transaction, request repairs, request credits, or a combination of repairs and credits. Typically, this leads to negotiations, with both the seller and buyer working towards an agreement on repair and or credit terms. If the buyer cancels the transaction within the specified timeframe, they receive their earnest money back. Sometimes, a buyer may approve the inspection without requesting repairs or credits. However, this is less common since the buyer retains the right to proceed with the transaction even if the seller refuses their repair or credit requests. The appraisal contingency comes into play when the buyer's lender appraises the property. If the appraised value is lower than the agreed-upon purchase price, the buyer can ask the seller to reduce the price accordingly. If the seller doesn't agree, the buyer can cancel the transaction and get their earnest money back. Alternatively, the buyer and seller can negotiate a price between the purchase price and the appraised value. The finance contingency protects the buyer in case they're unable to secure a loan despite making a good faith effort. If the buyer cannot obtain financing, they can cancel the transaction and receive their earnest money back. The buyer's earnest money is only at risk when they remove all contingencies, provided their reason for backing out aligns with an active contingency. Contingencies can be passively waived or contractually removed. Passively waived means that the buyer's contingency is waived if they do not respond within a specific time frame. Contractually removed means that the buyer needs to agree to remove the contingency. In certain states, like California, if a buyer does not remove a contingency in the specified time frame, you may send a notice to perform a contingency, requesting the buyer to remove it. If they fail to do so, you can cancel the transaction. However, if the buyer did not remove the active contingency, they would receive their earnest money back. Our goal is to clear the contingencies as quickly as possible, and ideally not have any at all when we accept an offer. Achieving this goal often requires multiple offers on the property. We will work closely with you to navigate this process and secure the best possible outcome for your home sale. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the escrow and contingency process for selling your home with ShopProp. Our team is committed to providing exceptional support and guidance throughout your home selling journey. If you have any questions or need assistance during this critical phase, please don't hesitate to reach out. Happy selling!